Hey, Zach and Jake here for Whiskey. Oh, I did it for uh, for Dirt Road Men. I almost said Whiskey to back in the firearms again. I don't know why we just did that either. We just kind of went with it. I'll let you. I'll let you keep saying that. I won't be mad. Yeah, I like it better, honestly. I mean, I mean, this isn't bad, but... We keep introducing ourselves as... But just the page on the internet. Nah, nah, I don't want to do that. We get to use we get to use a direct intro if we keep doing this right. Did did we get an okay? Probably. Drek. Yeah. <laughs> Special guest stars. But anyway, um, so we kind of uh, we kind of dropped the ball last week on our A Fuente cigar review, our Arturo Fuente review. We we ended up uh, splitting off, not actually reviewing the cigar, and then I did like a halfway intro to cigars. Um, I would like to say, though, um, for a review of that particular cigar, they're phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, but, like, we didn't talk about what they taste like, uh, different, any history of the company, where they're from, nothing like that. So, which is what we do with whiskeys. And so, it's, it's a standard I would like to put forward, and I, literally three people, one person actually commented on our Facebook, and three people gave me feedback like that. Okay. So, I read the one who commented on the yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Um, so now we're going to do like an actual intro to cigars video, mostly because we don't all have the same cigar, so we can't review one. We could each review separately. Or we could just do what we wrote down. Okay. We can do that <laughs> Trying to wing it. Yeah, I know. Uh, don't wing it, you're bad at it. <laughs> Apparently you swear and we have to restart the video. Hey, it cut off. I know, it cut off filming anyway. This is take two, which uh, Momo was supposed to say at the start. Oh, this is the first video going up. We have special guest star, Momo. Hey, y'all. If you, if you want to know his origins, you have to watch our whiskey review. Yes. Go ahead. His name is John. Yeah. But we call him Momo. We'll probably refer to him as Momo, just like we refer to Seth as Deaf Seth. You want to say hello, cameraman Deaf Seth? Oh. <laughs> and then we have uh, Steve the Skull is back again. He does. And uh, we have Philip the Pheasant, who came uh, to special guest star with Momo. He is incredibly soft. He is. It's the first pheasant you shot, right? Yep, that was the very first one. Uh, shot it out near uh, Great Bend, Kansas. Well, I get to go out there every year, and it's probably one of the best times of my life. Yeah, you skipped New Year's to do it this year, didn't you? Yep. I had to get the heck out of here. Is this is real beak. Yeah. They glue it shut. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But anyway, uh, so that's that's our current setup. John uh, John brought us some some stuff to uh, hold in the studio that we don't call nine one one sign to help decorate. He felt it went with the show well. It is nice. Um, couple of six guns. So. I wanted to do a basic uh, intro to cigars for, for people that have maybe never smoked a cigar before or never kind of had somebody talk them through on it, uh, especially because like 95% I've seen like two channels that don't seem like pretentious douchebags when they're reviewing stuff. Um, I mean, they just get worse and worse the further down the list you go almost. And And I wanted somebody that, you know... Didn't grow up with a lot, and hopefully doesn't come off as a pretentious douchebag. I don't think you do. Um, I know I can be a douchebag on the right day, but but not never pretentious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we wanted to go ahead and uh, kind of talk you through this, and and I hit stuff in our last video that apparently you didn't even know yet. Yeah. And and you just started in cigars fairly recently. I've been smoking them for several years. And it didn't occur to me some of the things until just before we filmed our last video that people don't really know. And so I wanted to do our, our first real cigar video because although our A Fuente review was probably one of our funnier videos based on the fact that I've gotten more feedback about that video being funny than any other except for Whiskey Thanksgiving. Um, probably was the whiskey. Yeah, it probably helped. It, somebody recommended that I, I should uh, have us get, get me lit. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so anyway, first off, uh, one of the first things I want to talk about is when you open up your cigar, uh, <coughs> there's conflict among people I've noticed as to whether or not you want to remove the label of your cigar. Either way, before you light it, you shouldn't. No. There's a good chance you're going to mess up the wrapper. And if you want to remove the label, smoke the cigar for a little while. The heat will loosen up the adhesive and you can take it off. Personally, I just don't until I get way low on the cigar if I want to like chew on it or try to smoke it past where the label is. But um, you, you'll notice the flavor of a cigar as you smoke it change. Uh, when you start to taste like primarily ash, essentially, yeah, you, the cigar will kind of go bad is what we tend to call it. That's when, uh, when it's time to stop smoking it. Um, so the next kind of thing is uh, some, some like basic rules. You do not actually inhale a cigar. It's, I mean, that's like all tobacco. But it, yeah, it, there's nothing macho about inhaling a cigar either. You just, you don't need to, you don't really want to. It, and it's... honestly, like, I've tried and it's painful. Some people talk about retrohaling. Um, you don't need to do that to start off with, but it will help you taste the cigar better. We talked about this last week. You have uh, 21 taste receptors in your nose and like four or six in your mouth. W way less. Um, yeah, I think four. Yeah. Um, so that does help, but there's another way I've even learned to get around that. But you don't need to worry about that when you're first starting. You just want to kind of smoke it. And there, there are a few different kinds of cutters. Um, these that Jake and I have are guillotine cutters. There's also scissor cutters. They look like scissors. I screwed up and called this scissor cutter last week. I'm going to go ahead and blame that on the Bushmills. Um, well, I'm on the Irish. You can, you can just bite it. You can get a, a hole punch, which is what you have in your torch lighter. Mm -hmm. um, and you do tend to want to... Uh, that, that takes us perfectly transitions into lighting the cigar. Um... One of the reasons you liked Arturo Fuente is because he's, he's the guy that got me to try my first one, is uh, a lot of them come with a cedar wrapper on them, which actually helps you light them. That's, that's considered, like, in the cigar community, the purest way to light your cigar. Yeah, because if you, uh, you take your match and you light your match with your match, uh, you get the sulfur. You mean you light your cedar with your match? Yeah, you light the cedar with the match. <laughs> Then you don't you, you don't, don't have to that, worry about that sulfur. Yeah, that sulfur taste. Some people, and you can even let the match burn down, but uh, the cedar kind of gives it a better. Some people think it gives it a better flavor. Um, so you do uh, probably the most common thing, and one of the best things to use is a torch lighter. We don't really have a, uh, a torch lighter here. I've got a torch, but we we did this last week. Put the Put the torch back. We don't... Didn't you actually try to light a cigar with that thing already? I'm going to. It's, it, <laughs> it's a touchy. It's... <laughs> Are you actually intending to light your cigar with that today? I'm going to. I'm not oh. intending on anything. I'm going to light my cigar. <laughs> with Bertha. Bertha, huh? Bertha. Named her after my grandmother. Your grandmother was a sweet lady. Lady. You don't even know. I don't even know. I didn't get to meet the lady. I'm assuming she was sweet. So I've heard her apple pie is very sweet, her apple pie recipe anyway. But anyhow, uh, so so torch lighters, um, you can buy like specifically cigar matches that, that you won't get the like sulfur flavor with. And they're also much longer than the ones that I have here uh, so that you can have time to fully light your cigar. Our torch lighter is uh, apparently out of function, and I'm not using your... <laughs> You're a little too gung-ho with that thing. <laughs> uh, so, uh, we talked about toasting last week. I'm not really going to go through that again, but that is very optional. That's not something you have to do. It just tends to... Uh, if you don't and you like your cigar, you're going to kind of burn the ends, and so the first few puffs might not taste as good as the rest of the cigar. But you can just suck it up and get past that, and it's not a big deal. Uh, so, you have, uh, and we'll go through the anatomy of a cigar on another video, but you have your cap up here, and you can kind of see rings on it. 
and you don't want to cut like way down here you just want to kind of cut a little bit off depending on how much smoke you want to pull through and need no. a cutter he's, no i'm good he's good uh or uh they did used to bite them so if you're in a pinch just bite it nobody's gonna get nobody's gonna give you flag um so when you're lighting it you want to try to get it lit as evenly as possible, and I'm probably going to have to use two matches. I have almost every other time I've used these. Um, toasting it makes it easier to light it evenly. I may not get this lit evenly, but when you're lighting it, you want to kind of uh, put it to the flame and roll it around and try to get the entire thing lit all the way around. And if you have, see that it uh, isn't lit evenly, you can go back and continue to light it even as you smoke it. So that's not a big deal. Let's get it lit. Let's get lit in here. <clears throat> and I was going to ask you, Zach, uh, on my cigar, my cigar is a little bit different than his Isla. Mine has a little bit of the leaf left over. As you can see, it's on the end. Um, I was curious, you know, what, what the purpose or... You know, what you think is the reason they leave that on there. I'm not 100% sure, but I've seen in my experience with smoking those that I've taken from you or you've given me. That um, it makes them easier to light evenly. And I think that's why, but honestly I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to check. Uh, just so you guys know what cigars we have, not that we're reviewing them, but this is one of my go-tos. It's like four bucks a cigar, three fifty, four bucks a cigar. It's, it's in Isla del Sol. Sorry. Can you quiet down? <laughs> uh, it's an Isla del Sol made by Drew Estate. They make uh, acid cigars. It's kind of their flagship brand that you'll see in a lot of places. You guys have M Bombay's, right? Yep. Yes. And there's two different styles. Mine's the Habano, and Jake's is the classic Robusto. This is one of my favorite ones. Uh, it's a little bit darker than Jake's. Uh, doesn't mean that it's a stronger, or by any means. It's actually not one of the stronger, darker ones, but these are one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And when It is the favorite. Right. When you're lighting your cigar, uh, you do have to puff at it a little bit. You can't just hold the flame right in front of it, and I didn't say that beforehand. Um, again, don't inhale. You uh, Cigars, as a, as a general rule, this isn't always true, there are exceptions, but as a general rule, it kind of works like beer. The lighter ones are like your, are your lighter colored beers. The, the black ones are like your stouts, right? And, and there's shades in between and stuff. And like I said, that's not always true. If you go to a cigar shop and you've never had a cigar before, ask them about it. Tell them, you know, you've never tried one before, you're trying to try your first one. You know, talk to them about maybe you want to try something sweeter. Like this one has uh, chocolate and coffee flavors no, to it. Yeah. Um, acid cigars tend to be sweeter. Or if you want to try a more classic cigar like a, like a Monte Cristo or a Rocky Patel. And, and they'll kind of help you find what you're looking for. But as uh, most people starting out with cigars want a little bit lighter cigar, you definitely probably don't want to, uh, definitely probably, you don't want to start with the dark black cigars. I know for my 18th birthday, he brought us back some hand-rolled cigars from uh, uh, Florida, and I lit that black one, and I didn't think I was ever going to like cigars. No, See, I would have to agree with you 100% there. I'm gonna have to disagree. The darker I have found that the darker cigars I like prefer. Yeah. Well, like and the, and the, I actually I think uh, there are some that I like. I've had a couple that are all right, but I've also had a couple that were really bad. And it's it's a lot more uh, like like I said with beer, like a stout is a lot more punch you in the face than like this. Even so though personally, water. Yeah. Um. So that's something to keep in mind when choosing your first cigar and lighting it. Um, that'll kind of get you, you know, your first cigar lit and, and get you on your starter uh, intro. That's what I'm trying to say. For, for your intro to cigars and get you your first cigars. And then you just want to try a few different ones. Like, don't stop at one and 
a lot of people find one they like, and I was guilty of this for a really long time, they find one they like, and then they stop, and they never try any other ones. And uh, you definitely shouldn't do that, because you might find more that you like, new ones might come out that you like. Um, I didn't try Rocky Patels until here recently, and they're very good. I wish I'd been smoking them for longer. Um, a couple tips when smoking your first cigar. Um, most of these are like our opinions, and you guys can chime in with your own as you go. Oh, uh, and you do uh, want to puff these slower. About like twice a minute is a good rule. That way you don't uh, smoke the cigar too fast. You can actually enjoy it, and it won't go bad as quickly. You also don't want to ash your cigar um, too soon. In fact, you want to wait as long as you can to ash it. It's it's kind of uh, you got something to say? Uh huh. It's kind of uh, courteous to the cigar maker, and it's just uh, good to see how rolled the cigar is, how well rolled the cigar is by letting the ash go as long as it can. But when you have to, you want to go down and just kind of roll it on the ashtray, and it'll come off. Which is something that you like figured out well into smoking cigars without me telling you, and you got kind of irritated because you were sitting over there trying to flick it. Yeah. And if you flick it, nobody really cares. Cigar snobs will give you flack about it, but nobody really cares. Just jack them in the jaw. Yeah. So thanks for coming out. Good old-fashioned American welcome. He says with an Irish accent. Jesus. Yeah, I know. Uh, now some more general opinion tips. Uh, for your first cigar, or any cigars, my first tip when you're having a cigar is get your phone. Yeah. I oh, really hope man. I didn't just break my galaxy. Yeah, um, it's probably still under warranty. Something's yeah. under warranty. Anyway, uh... There is nothing, nothing more annoying than trying to just ha sit down and have a cigar with the guys or the gals. And, uh, your phone's blowing up every 20, 30 minutes, or 5 minutes, depending yeah. on your old lady. Or, or whoever may be reaching out to you. Or work. Or work. <laughs> or work. Yeah, I don't want to go push snow, boss. There's no snow to push. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm not coming home for dinner. <laughs> I've got beer and a cigar. Or... Uh, does your wife still watch all our videos? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a 90% chance I'm going to be home with her all day tomorrow. We're going to have something to talk about. Mm-hmm. So, that's that's kind of tip number one, and that leads me into tip number two. Enjoy your first cigar with a group of people, preferably a couple people that have uh, tried cigars before, but if not, you know, people that you're close to. It's great for uh, conversation. I know one of the best uh, weekends we've had recently, we just went to a cigar shop and sat down and kind of BSed for like a whole afternoon. Uh, yeah. Just sat down at the table and just had some cigars and talked. And we, we, you know, talk about life, talk about things that interest us. Played some cards. Yeah, we did, uh, we worked on some uh, Texas Hold'em and some Blackjack. Mm -hmm. uh, using coasters as poker chips, so it was uh, short games. <laughs> but, uh, that's, that's definitely, I also like to enjoy them as like almost meditation, as like me time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but definitely at least for your first one, try them in a, in a group. And then, uh. You know, figure out how you like to enjoy them. I like to, to use them as an excuse to kind of go off by myself sometimes because I can't smoke in the house. Yeah. Um. Sometimes you just need a maybe either way a cigar and a bottle of bourbon and wander off into the wilderness or down the street or something. Man, if I could take a cigar and a bourbon hunting. Just be great, or just shooting. You can take you can you you can take a cigar hunting or shooting. Yeah, no. um, you can't take bourbon. <laughs> it, no, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I, it might be illegal, but I'm not the police, so I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> now, John? oh, sorry, go ahead. I forgot you said John. I got Mom, mesmerized. did you have any uh, any tips? For people enjoying their first cigar? Well, all I gotta say is, uh, have fun, like you guys said, and, you know, as, as you enjoy more and more cigars, 
drink more and more whiskey or more and more whiskey. <laughs> That's a good one. It makes the experience so much better. Right, and uh, honestly, uh, scotch has a smoky flavor that pairs good with cigars as well. Yes, it does. I'm a bourbon guy, but I'll credit scotch where it's due. It's what got you to actually liking scotch. It's, got, it's what got me to try more scotch, yeah, because yeah. we had that one that was way too smoky for me. And I couldn't get past it until I tried it with a cigar. And then I was able to get past it without a cigar. Was that the Johnny Walker that we tried? Or what was that? We didn't try any Johnny Walker. What was we the... tried Dewar's back yeah, then. Yeah, Dewar's. But this was a, a Highland Park 12. The, yeah. Okay. The, the Viking Honor. It's um, a little like, expensive for... For this area. Yeah. But if you can get past smoke and or if you just like scotches, it's one to try. Yeah, have. and not, not all scotches are really <laughs> smoky, but that one is. Not all scotches are created equal. Yeah. All right, um, I, think that's, uh, I think that's all we have for this video, so we wanted to kind of do an instructional for you. Uh, uh, Katie, I hope this was satisfactory for an instructional. Um, and uh, uh, Brandon was another guy that gave us some feedback. And uh, I think that's all from us. So we'll see you guys on uh, our next video. Seth, hit the button.